So today we're going to have a look at the Ansible and Directive demo. Essentially what the workflow does is it uh, takes a Git repository, clones it, and then it runs the Ansible playbook contained within this Git repository within Directive and just records the script output. The Directive engine itself is very simple to configure. Um, there's only three states to this workflow. There's a clone, the Ansible GitHub repo. There's the run the Ansible playbook, and then we're going to print the output. Um, as you can see, the GitHub uh, repo that we're using is a public repo, but it's obviously under a, under a name, a private name. Um, and it's a simple repo. It just contains a run.yaml as a bottom level of the um, directory, and then a cloned CIS Ubuntu Ansible uh, hardening Ansible playbook. Um, and as you can see, the run.yaml is very simple. Uh, it just runs the role. So if we look at how to run this, um, the playbook's configured to take a couple of input, inputs. Firstly is an IP address as an input. Um, secondly, that we need is obviously the user that we're going to connect to, the key that we, well, sorry, the playbook we're going to use. And in this, the section refers to the CIS hardening guideline section that we want to run against this machine. So we've kicked off the workflow. Um, fast forward because the Ansible playbook takes a while to complete. And then what we'll see is the output of this Ansible playbook. So this is the full output. Um, and what we can do is, this is the first time this workflow has run. If we run this workflow again, um, you'll see again, obviously the same output, but the workflow time to execution will obviously be sped up because some of these components are now cached within directive and we can reuse the container as we need. And that's it. Another directive instance running uh, and the Ansible playbook executed successfully against the machine that we provisioned using Terraform um, in the directive workflow engine.